it's been almost three years since I published my review of the Sony A7 as the cheapest way to full frame video. Since then a lot has happened on the market and Sony has released several sequels to the camera and I have reviewed for example the Sony A7S Mark II. But one question that I still very often get asked is if the original Sony A7 still is a good buy for taking stills. Well, here are five reasons why I think yes, it is. First off we have the sensor, it's a full frame 24 megapixel sensor and it's definitely no slouch even with today's standards. Crazy amount of detail and a good dynamic range. It's also very good in low light like here on a foggy night just after sunset. Secondly, we have the price. This thing is even cheaper today. If you are willing to hassle some classifieds, you can get it for as little as 500 bucks. I've seen stores sell them brand new for as little as 600. The third reason, the size and ergonomics. For a full frame it's downright tiny. With this 35mm lens, I have often had it in my jacket pocket. The ergonomics is also something I really dig. It has a nice grip and I'm definitely more fond of the old design with the metal wheels instead of the new design with the teeny tiny plastic wheels that are actually quite difficult to use. At least for my hands. External SD slot is sweet and the big EVF sometimes makes my life easier. For a low angle street shooter like myself, a tilt screen is almost a must. And I prefer it to a fully articulating when shooting stills. It's also extra comfortable for me that tend to shoot with my thumb on the trigger. The last thing that completes it for street shooting is a distance scale on the display. I can pre-focus at for example 5 meters at f8, giving me a focus zone of 2.5 to 71 meters. And with a quick flick to f11, I reach infinity. The camera also remembers the setting as well as the focus when turned off. All these shots were pre-focused and shot from the hip. reason to dig it is the ability to use adapters due to the short flange distance. Like I showed in the old video, you can get a whole bag of lenses for just 10 bucks a pop or even less. I can adapt almost anything like modern Nikons with manual aperture control, modern Canons with electronic smart adapters or pretty much any other lens ever made. Still one of my favorites after all these years is the Minolta mount and especially the 50mm f1.7 Roker. But the last and biggest reason I currently like having a Sony a7 around is another type of adapter. The Kipon medium format focal reducer. It acts just like a normal speed booster, but instead of turning a Micro Four Thirds camera into APS-C or APS-C into full frame, it lets me shoot medium format 645 lenses with full coverage, giving the cheap Sony A7 sensor a lesser crop factor than for example the newly announced Fuji GFX50.
I will make a separate review video where I'll tell you everything about the adapter and try it with loads of cool medium format glass. Until then you can read the evolving review on my site or follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye!